award-winning comedy writer, New York best-selling author, producer, director, and of course, one of the stars of smash hit series Breaking Bad, whose spin-off show, Better Call Saul, is now into its third season. Welcome to the cafe, Bob Odenkirk. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Huge amounts of accolades for everything you've Very done. Nice. Thank um, you. You started off behind the camera doing the writing for the for some shows. What made you come out in front of the camera? Well, I always wanted to act and perform. I, I always wanted to be able to. I love writing, and I still write, and I'm I'm writing projects right now. But uh, I always wanted to have that option. So when I got my first big job, which was at Saturday Night Live, and I was a writer, I was on the writing staff. Um, I kind of didn't get to perform then. So after three and a half years at Saturday Night Live, I called Lauren Michaels and I said, I'm going to leave because I want to perform and I need to get better at that. And I went to L.A. I continued to write, and I, but I also performed. And, uh, and over the years, did both and mostly wrote, but... Both. How hard well, is it? Well. Yeah, 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 well, it's going well. Good choices. How hard is it when you're doing something like Saturday Night Live to tune out that material? Did you it, ever it, struggle? It is a struggle. It is hard. And the hardest thing is the, just the... It, it all comes together so fast and, and is so much work that the demands of that short preparation time become all all powerful mm. so you're writing you get there monday at around noon and you write basically till wednesday morning and then wednesday at noon you read so you're writing it in two days and then you wednesday afternoon you read and then they choose and then that all has to be put together so quickly there isn't a lot of time for rehearsal there uh, a super quick and turnaround but that would be good for you for later on in life um breaking bad you were i mean we all know you from that from so good yes as that mm -hmm. you were only meant to be in a couple of episodes yeah but they invited me to be a part of it and i did an audition which was very strange because again most of my acting had been in comedy and um it was for, they wanted me for four episodes, but I could only do three because I was doing How I Met Your Mother oh, that, that fourth yeah. week. I was doing a part on that. So then they invented the character of Mike so they could, you know, get that information across in that fourth episode that they, they needed my character for. So then our two characters are invented on the same season and then ultimately have a show together, me and John Banks. And that's been so successful, hasn't it? It's played very well for people, and I thank the audience because it's thanks to how good um, Breaking Bad was that our show was able to have so many people watch, but also, more importantly, that people were able to watch in the right way because it's a very quiet show in a way, and it's very internal and the, and the sort of struggle by the characters is is an eternal struggle, and and that's all derived from uh, Breaking Bad and and mm. the world uh, of that show. How much do you have a part in the writing of Better Call Saul? I say nothing at all. You've I got try. That beautiful dodgy comb over there. Yeah, that yeah. Well, that was my idea. Yeah, but the it hair. must be hard not to interfere all the time. You know, they're very receptive to me because they all know that I've written for years and they actually are fans of the comedy I wrote. I did a show called Mr. Show on HBO and it's the reason I got the job right. on Saul, which is very strange because not much on Mr. Show would lend itself to... <laughs> I mean, if you were to see it, it's a very broad, silly sketch show. Um, but because of Mr. Show, Vince Gilligan gave me this chance on Breaking Bad and they do listen to me when I have an idea for a line or two for Saul. But to be honest with you, that's a whole different world, that dramatic writing, than what I've mm. done. Those guys are like playing, uh, what is it from Star Trek? It's like the three levels of chess that Spock plays. Yeah. Anyway, I can't play it. It's too complicated. <laughs> so Series 3 is out now. Series, um, series 3 up. comes out on April 11th on Lightbox. And I think people are going to be very excited because the geeks who put together the episodes from Season 2 yes. saw that it's spelled out that Fring is back. The acronyms of the first letter of each episode. <laughs> I know, right? And Gus Fring. And they figured it out before the season was over. Like, four, there were still three episodes, three letters left to get, and they figured out Fring is back, is what it spelled out. Gus Fring, one of the best baddies. Gus Fring, 
who runs Los Poyos Hermanos and is the drug kingpin of New Mexico. His story is a big part of season three of Better Call Saul. Yes coming out on April 11th on Lightbox. And if people haven't watched season three, they can just, uh, season one or two, they can just jump in, can't they? They can, get they it. can start and nice. stream it on Lightbox, or, or they could just start on season three. It, it, they'd be all right. Bob, thank you so much for all visiting right. New Zealand and visiting the yeah. cafe. Congratulations on a successful career. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Odenberg. <laughs> nice work.